We're gonna cam it with the whistles. Hi ho, Keegan the Vlog here. Welcome back to not 308 wrench time. Uh, today we're going to get back into the Ford Tempo, the 1985 Ford Tempo, and you might be asking yourself why. Why in the world does this channel have a 1985 Ford Tempo? Okay, we're into Radwood, cars built between 1980 and 1999. It so happens that my very first car was a 1987 Ford Tempo, the facelifted version of this one. As you can see, we have got tons and tons of new parts to go onto this car. While the body and the interior are in excellent condition, it only has 18,000 miles on it. It had been sitting on a gravel parking lot for probably a couple years, and uh, well, that took a toll on the underside of this car. So lots of rust, lots of things that need to be replaced, hard things that need to be replaced. So we have a lot to do, but before we get into the repairs on this Tempo, let's take a trip back to actual Radwood era in the 1990s, the mid, early to mid 1990s. I want to say this is 1994. Driving around the city of Louisville, Kentucky in a 1987 Ford Tempo. Let's get into it. In the 2.3. On our way to e -Rexa C. Oh no! Yeah! And <laughs> yeah. hey, Brian! Hey. Turn around! Oh, by the way, did Courtney ask you out? Oh, what a liar. Can I have my keys, please? You took them with you, Chuck. No, I did not. I know I left them in the car. Come on, Bart. Let me have the keys. Oh no! How did that happen? How did he know? He has intuition. See, we're looking for scaven scavenger hunt list so we can win some Woodstock tickets. See, we're at Erex to see, but they're all out of them. Doesn't that suck? Erex to see. 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 Who would know where QMF is? QMF, a radio station, they call it. What happens if there's a blinking E? Oh no, we're getting low on battery. Uh, hello? Does anybody know where QMF is? Yeah. See, L and N building here. Another way. Straight ahead. Oh god, my eye itches. Many, many minutes later. The fuel pump is receiving, well at least the cutoff switch is receiving, receiving juice from the relay for the one second that it's supposed to come on, but the pump itself is not coming on. We suspect grounding issues on top of the tank. There are perforated brake lines here, and both of those things mean we have to remove the exhaust system to both drop the tank and to, to replace these, this section of brake line right here. I found a trick, so now go back, yeah. Something broke. Uh... Yeah, you're right, this is almost impossible now that this thing's fucking... No, no, is it? That might not pass my... Looks so like all it this may have been... Is, all this is gonna get replaced with a... Fresh. Custom, custom performance exhaust. Yeah, it's gonna be stainless. It's yeah. gonna sound sweet. Stainless straight pipes. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna cam it. With the whistles. <laughs> 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 Freaking thing, yeah. Let's come down here for a second. <laughs> 
<laughs> that third that we were talking about, right? There's two lines yeah. here, and yeah. there's a third one that is of indetermined. I mean, use. it goes up to the fuel tank. Yeah, and it goes forward and up with all the brake lines. Yeah. So that needs to get. That's brake, right? No, though, that's the third. That's the that? third. These are the brake lines up yeah. here. Look at this brake line. It's totally chewed up up here, like right here. Yeah. There's freaking nothing left. And all, all along here. Oh, yeah. All it's along just, there. There's, it's nothing, gone. Left. It's, there's yeah. nothing left of it. So what do you think? Should we try to, to, to siphon some of the fuel out of this tank before we drop it? How much do you think is in there? A lot more gas in here than I thought there was. If you can find another container, because this this is showing no signs of abatement. That thing. Yep, good. She good. I think she's out. She's out. Okay, and then there. Got it. Look at that nice reusable gasket. Ooh, it doesn't look like that's in terrible shape. Bad. Which is what we sort of deduced, right? Yeah. That really was not very dramatic. As if we're doing this the right way. Jumps bumper! Jumps bumper!
I believe that wraps up the disassembly of the Ford Tempo. We've got to get some parts painted. We've got most of the new parts here. And uh, next episode, we're going to put it together. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Not TR3 Wrench Time. <laughs>